Hi Leo, this is your reading with me for the 15th to the 21st of November. I hope you are well. So we're going to have a look, see what's coming through. Also wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, those are down below and they are done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that my intention manifesting items are on my website, which thousands of people have seen results with. So these are items in lots of different categories, which are like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse. There's also the hand embroidered, actually these are hand crocheted, crocheted um, flowers as well, which you can also find on there. Um, again, they have like lots of different intentions attached to them, so you can check those out. There's also pouches with spices and herbs, candles for different intentions as well. And yeah, so I'll show you as well. They're plant-based, they're handmade, hand-poured, safety tested as well. Really beautiful, natural, plant-based. Um, so yeah, there's crystals, sage, candles. You can check out the review section at the bottom of my website. I also have an Etsy as well, so you can check out everything on there too. All right, so let's have a look and see Leo. 15th to the 21st. Ooh, you're gonna get, um, I mean, some of you are already feeling this where you're getting a lot of nostalgia. So you're thinking a lot about certain events of the past that have happened. So these are signs that are really pointing you in the right direction to know that there is something quite powerful coming here. I feel like there's definitely someone who thinks about you um, in the sort of sense of nostalgia as well. Like they really do think about you. They really do wonder about you, ponder about you um, and think a lot about you as well. So that's really another thing that I really do pick up on, which is obviously very significant. There's definitely a real sense of nostalgia. And we've got here the 10 of pentacles. We have also got the nine of pentacles as well. So nine and 10, obviously look really significant. Um, okay. <laughs> so I feel like there's a lot of signs here in, in so many ways. I mean, you've got two nines, right? You've also got this eight. I feel like there's a lot of progress here. Like you're having a lot of progress in terms of <clears throat> your relationships. I feel like some of you may even get into one um, in this particular week, as in get into a relationship or become exclusive with someone or go on a date here. There's definitely this romantic energy. I also see here as the nine to the 10 of pentacles as a sense of just feeling happy, uh, content, fulfilled. Um, some of you may even be meeting like your uh, partner's uh, parents and things like that. Like there's there's a lot and it's all very, very different for different uh, for different Leos, I'm just saying, all right? So uh, keep in mind that it depends on your situation, but I see here basically a step up and a progress in terms of your relationships, which obviously is quite strong with the Six of Cups as well. There's just such a, yeah, such a powerful energy in this sense, which... I think goes to show that also the other person here is also having a lot of nostalgia. We also see the Nine of Cups as this sort of like wish, dream-like energy. And I also see the Nine of Cups as quite a powerful thing in terms of seeing a lot of the number nines. Like a lot of you may see number nines, number tens. Basically what this shows is nine to the 10 equals completion, right? So if you see a lot of nines and then you see a lot of tens, that shows here that what you are wanting in terms of your desires and manifestations are absolutely going to manifest and come to fruition. That's really what it shows here. Um, and yeah, it shows things coming together. Also, we see here eight, nine, and 10. So that again goes to show progress. But yeah, a lot of you might get really triggered in terms of nostalgia and thinking about things from the past. But I just feel here that as well, there is someone else that thinks about you a lot as well in terms of nostalgia and the past. I mean, some of you might even be like whipping out like albums and like things from the past, like photographs and things like that and coming across things like that. So I just am saying what I'm thinking here. Okay, so yeah, King of Wands, definitely you feel quite good within yourself. You feel quite strong. Um, within yourself and I feel like that's really triggering here love to progress to a higher level to basically ascend to a higher level which I think is very like for sure very very interesting as well yeah it's quite exciting you know when we think about that We've got temperance knight of cups it's a very very like love heavy reading okay so seven of pentacles so you've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, the six, um, 
the six of cups here is quite romantic but then seven of pentacles here shows growth in terms of your like goals as well so that's another thing knight of cups there is someone here that wants to pursue you and come towards you they can also come to you come to you with a gift or an idea um, or some kind of communication where they want to talk to you temperance here is definitely like this balanced energy where they really are um like really thinking about you and I also feel like temperance is quite a strong energy in relation to um you know wondering pondering contemplating things and um yeah really trying to get to like the bottom of things so it's another thing that we really do pick up on here with temperance is this like balanced vibe and balanced energy which I think is obviously quite significant and really really strong temperance energy is yeah really like calming and soothing which yeah, is, is what we have there. So I feel like this week is quite calm. Um, it seems to have a really nice aspect of love here. Okay, so if you are with someone and you feel pretty good, you're going to continue to feel pretty good from what I see. Yep. Someone may even confess their feelings to you and, and be thinking about you quite a lot here with the Hermit and of course the Temperance as well. They're really thinking about you a lot. So you can expect, okay, that someone is really thinking about your lot, has a lot of nostalgia, they haven't forgotten about you, you're not out of sight, out of mind. For some of you, they will come forward and express something. For others, they'll really be doing a lot of inner deep thinking towards you. And even with the fool here as well, like they will think about coming forward towards you, saying something, doing something, progressing towards you. We have here the eight of um, pentacles. So, you know, got the seven, the eight, the nine, and the ten of pentacles. You know, we see lots of progress. And the main thing I want to tell you is that, especially in terms of your career as well, I see progress. I see you really moving towards, like, your goals, your dreams, like, the things that you really want to do. My gosh, my hands and my cards look so tiny from, like, behind. And then here, they look, like, freaking ginormous. Um... <laughs> So this is really what I am picking up on. You're working really hard towards your goals. Things are coming to a completion. So if some of you have been thinking about like a promotion or more responsibilities in regards to your work, I feel like this is a week where you're like really getting a lot of that. Um, and of course, the nine plus the ace here shows that there's some kind of manifestation of your wish. Because like imagine putting that ace towards the nine. Like this is the thing that really completes that towards the ten of cups. So there's definitely something here that just makes you feel much happier. And it can be this person expressing themselves to you, right? So it just like is that one thing that sort of completes everything else. Um, so we've got the hanged man. Yeah, you may be getting a lot of spiritual signs and synchronicity, seeing a lot of repeating numbers, white feathers, for example. Um, you may also be just getting some really like random seeing random things that remind you of certain people or certain goals or certain things. Wild card, okay, so this is about things coming together. Um Leo, this is a week where it's good to sort of obviously continue with the things that you're doing. Um, don't abandon like your goals and your dreams. Um, that's another thing. But I definitely feel like you're seeing a lot in terms of like nostalgia, things of the past, lots of repeating numbers, lots of signs. This is showing that, again, a lot of the things that you want are going to manifest for you. So it is going to come together. It's not like randomly just going to like leave you. Ace of Wands. Okay, so there's a lot of progress, a lot of movement. Everything's going in the right direction here. You've got the Knight of Wands as well. So we've got a lot of cards here. Knight of Wands really goes to show that there's a lot of movement, lots of creativity. I feel like some of you will get very creative, but also you're, you may be intimately thinking about someone or having some intimate dreams in regards to someone. Just saying, okay. Same with the, the Empress as well. Like a lot of those kinds of thoughts can come into your mind. There, it's definitely um, a week which is very heavy in nostalgia, okay? So you may be thinking a lot about things in the past, but remember, there is someone else who's also thinking very heavily in regards to nostalgia towards you as well. So you're not the only one just doing this um, in that sense. But all of the signs are basically pointing you towards this person who is thinking a lot about you and is potentially going to come in. I say potentially because for some of you, they will come in. For the others, they will come in a little bit later, but they're doing a lot of thinking towards you and you can really pick up on it, especially from the knight to the king. They do think about you a lot and potentially they want to come in. Now, if you're looking for a sign, there is quite a heavy water energy coming through, just saying, but we also do have Virgo there as well. So I thought that I would mention that too. So yeah, that is, that is what we're seeing. Like a lot of like water, a lot of earth, including a bit of Taurus energy and Sagittarius energy as well. So 
Um, yes, I know Taurus is an earth sign, <laughs> but yeah, that's what we have there. So I really hope this helped you. Of course, if you like this video or if you want to claim it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, comment down below. Let me know in the comment section, you know, but do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, food and giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And do check out also my TikTok and Instagram if you would like to. The links are down below. I post short readings on there every single day. Bye everyone.